Hey, hi friends, welcome to my channel. And this is part 23 video in VCP8 Data Center Virtualization 2023. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do patching basically on your ESXi host, which is running 6.7 or 7 uh, version of from vCenter uh, 8. So <clears throat> basically, why you need to do a patching? So maybe there is a critical uh, vulnerability identified on your systems and you want to have a patch applied on your machines or there was a uh, normal patch released or something newly uh, newly released on the ASXI host so if you want to do any kind of patching then uh, you know, patch apply then you can do it through uh, VMware vSphere vCenter server itself so in this video we are going to show you how to check compliance and all against your uh, patches how to check what patches are uh, 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 available from v vmware side to apply on your vcenter infrastructure and all so <coughs> this is my infrastructure which we are going to use in this demo so i got two esxi hosts one esxi host running 6.7 and one esxi host basically running 7.0 so esxi 6 is running uh, esxi version 7.0 and ESXi 5 is 6.7.0 so this is our infrastructure this is the same uh, domain control which we are using since first video and we got our vCenter server applying so if I show you <coughs> so I'm running everything in my VMware infrastructure so I got four hosts which is running ESXi 8.0 so which are in cluster and these are the two hosts which I am talking about so if I go to summary, you will see here ESXi 6.7.0 and ESXi 6 is ESXi 7.0.3. So this is our infrastructure. So now how to verify which available uh, patches are available for ESXi host. So if I go here on uh, VMware host and go to updates. So by default, it will show you here attached baseline. So whatever, whatever systems are applicable, it will by default going to attach the baseline uh, for you to <coughs> so you don't need to work uh, and uh, identify the correct baselining and all so if you see esxi version so this host host security patches predefined so these are predefined basically critical host patches this is also predefined so if you see here the esxi version for which this is applicable 6.7 7.0 or 8.0 so these are predefined type is predefined that's why you are able to see here and content is pa uh, patch so this is current status is not compliant so if you see here 48 patches include 20 critical and 34 security patches and this and this is uh, non-compliant basically again both and if you go on 6 you will see here uh, baseline in the attached but the status is not available so if you want to see the status you can go here or basically you can go and check the compliance status so current status is never checked so by default it's map the uh, uh, VMware map the uh, baseline but it does not check for uh, compliance uh, so if you want to check you need to do it by your own so ready for remediation this stage uh, state means you are good to go and remedy to your server so this is what it is and now what I'm going to do here I'm going to show you go to uh, basically lifecycle manager and if you go to updates because we are dealing with patches now so I want to show you updates so if you see here there are a lot of patches release so ASXI 6.7 patch release so uh, this is important type is roll up and bug fix 6.7 and reboot and maintenance mode is required so it will put server in maintenance mode and then it will reboot and release date also you can see this is 2018 18 so all are 18 so if you see recent there was 6.7 also which we are going to apply so if you see the latest patch for 6.7 is released so so now if you see complete update 3 so this is the latest update which is released on this date 2019 and then we have a lot of other patches also so so in this video i'm going to focus on applying the security patches and uh, critical patches so again if you go here you will see here 
the baseline is predefined so uh, host security patches critical host patches and non critical so these are predefined so <coughs> the the same uh, baseline is attached to our esxi host so now if i go to inventory and check for this six so you will see here this also non showing non compliant so what we need to do here just we need to select the this patch okay and then remedy it so it will show you which host it's going to apply and it's going to show you the version also patches how many patches it's going to apply extension is not remediation state is uh, ready for remediation so now if you see wants to see what this is going to apply so these are the patches which is going to be applied by uh, this remediation so you have all the list if you want to uh, go and check and then uh, schedule the remediation later option also available if you want to run this remediation on uh, specific schedule then you can do that also and remediation setting we have like these all uh, host related setting if you want to apply now i'm going to do a remediate so now you will see here remediation entry remediate entry is started and it's on 16 percent so soon it will stage the remediation and then it will start the remediation on host 5 now on host 6 what i'm going to do i'm going to basically pre-stage the uh, remediation so i'm going to here click here and stage stage means it is basically going to uh, <coughs> stage all your updates on esxi host to uh, <coughs> Uh, to ready mode so whenever you want to start basically it can save your time uh, like uh, staging will itself going to take time to download the all the patches on your esxi host and then keeping them ready to and, uh, for the remediation and all so now i'm going to do this just staging on this machine and we'll see how the staging uh, how how to stage and then remediate the server so now you'll see 23 percent is done so now if you go here and you will see remediation is running so this is good now you, soon you will see few install uh, task is running on the ESXi host because uh, it's going to install few things uh, like uh, whatever available in your <coughs> uh, those uh, patches and all it it is going to install those things so now you will see here the host is in maintenance mode and host uh, initiated host reboot for esxi5 so it's going to take care of everything automatically it will put your esxi host in maintenance mode and then it will run the scan uh, basically the baseline is scan and then it's going to do your all the uh, uh, reboot task and then once the host is available it will run the scan again and if there is a patch missing it will install patches again so uh, so everything is automated just you need to wait for some time it will take care of everything uh, on so i'll see stage patches entry is for host 6 is 33 percent completed so this is good so I'm going to pause recording for some time. Once the uh, host is ready, we'll we'll resume from there. So now you can see the host is rebooted and uh, it's out of maintenance mode also, and remediation is 94 percent. So this is good, and the staging is also completed on host six. So let's review that. So now if you scroll down, you will see here. Uh, So good thing is now you can see the ESXi host 5 is now status showing compliant. So means it has all the critical and uh, host security patches applied till date. So whatever Microsoft uh, basically VMware has released for this uh, uh, 6.7 ESXi version. So we have uh, we have applied those critical and uh, <coughs> Host, patch, uh, host security patches and the host is compliant so this is good now if you go here you will see the build number is exact same so build number has not changed but the ESXi uh, 
basically ESXi host patching is completed so this is good now we will do same for ESXi 6 so now you will see here the status and if I go here and since we have already staged this so you will still going to see this stage button so just click on remediate so now you will see here patches out of 46 patches uh, 10 uh, patches are stays so this is good now if you want to see the review the list of everything what is going to do so bug fake security bug fake security you can see everything so now go ahead and again if you want to schedule if you want to have a, some advanced setting you can do those things so this is good now what I'm going to do I'm going to click on remediate so it will start the remediation for ESXi 6 now same thing if you want to go ahead and attach baseline group which is non-critical again and if you want to see this host is not compliant to this <coughs> so if you want to remediate this also non-critical non host patches you can update also so there are six patches which is non-critical so if you want to remediate you can remediate those also so I am going to start remediation for uh, non-critical patches also so it is always uh, always recommended to apply critical and <coughs> uh, host patches uh, critical host patches and host security patches on your ESXi host but again if you apply non-critical host patches that is going to give you additional you can say security or benefits uh, for sure uh, to your environment so I recommend to apply non-critical patches also in your infrastructure so uh, how to go ahead and apply the uh, patches so first uh, basically you need to see which uh, uh, <coughs> select your UAT host or some non-critical host first and then you can apply your uh, critical host uh, and the host security patches on your non non critical or UAT machines and once you have a successful apply and you will see there was no uh, no issue reported uh, to the virtual machines or uh, ESXi host itself after applying security patches or host patches and all then you can plan for or maybe on upcoming week or upcoming downtime schedule you can plan for production machine and uh, uh, more critical machines uh, so so always plan uh, your uh, patching uh, for ESXi host in multiple multiple groups do not patch everything at one so maybe if, if there is a issue which is going to be reported so uh, then you need to have a uh, basically restore or you can say you need to resolve the same issue on all your ESXi host so it's always recommended to do uh, your security patching or host patching um, in a in a group so non-critical or UAT machines first and then critical machine or production machines so this is how you can plan your uh, basically patching for ESXi host now you'll see both both machines are in maintenance mode and the uh, reboot is uh, go ongoing so soon this will show you compliant for running remediation so mainly the everything uh, patching of ESXi host putting in maintenance mode making making host out of maintenance mode everything is automated just you need to do a remediation and you need to make sure there is no critical workload running on so I always recommend to free up your ESXi host so make sure there was no productions machine or any virtual machine staying there on your ESXi host which you are uh, planning to have an upgrade or you can say the uh, patches apply and all <coughs> so it's going to take few more minutes to get the ESXi host up and uh, <coughs> to reflect the compliance status so I'm going to pause recording again we'll start soon once the ESXi host is back now you can see all the task is completed and if you sh see the status of uh, patches so all the task baseline is compliant now and if you go to 6 also you will see both the uh, host security patches and critical is compliant so this is how you can patch your ESXi environment by using the vCenter server itself so 
uh, your patches and uh, your baseline is natively support uh, natively available on your vCenter server so you don't need to go and download things and make them ready uh, upload on the server and then patch it so everything is available natively you can go ahead and uh, do it uh, itself uh, from the vCenter uh, in a very easy fashion so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post human my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye